and I just never ever <laughs> dreamt that it was gonna be what it is today because this project just kind of just snowballed into a huge project with so many people on board and I think we have like more than seven countries represented. When we went into confinement in, in here in Barcelona, I already had a little bit of an idea. It's an idea about mm, mental health uh, and about actually a little bit of that feeling of claustrophobia and feeling the pressure from society. During the confinement, I feel like a lot of people were lonely. Mental health issues were getting worse, especially among youngsters. And I'm really interested in psychiatry, so I thought this um, wasn't just a film for like entertainment. Elaine called me and presented me the project. She told me it was a short film. She told me a bit of it, and immediately she sent me the script. They were looking for a Spanish in Barcelona producer. I love the story. And also, I seen it very possible to do during those coronavirus times. So I just jam jump in. My intention was that I was going to make it during the, um, the pandemic. And so I knew that I had to try and make a story where we had as few characters as possible, um, that we had maybe just one location. Here in The Peel, I am the head of production direction and my job uh, was at the beginning uh, to find the location that was crazy because the location is, the, is an important part of the film. The first time I met Louise was uh, she was working as a first AD on a short film that I was also shooting. Uh, I read the script and I thought it's something that is um, pushing the boundaries. So I, I said, yes, definitely, you know, I enjoy working with Louise uh, before and, you know, collaborating with her and coming up with her, uh, with ideas with her and helping her create her vision. It's in three, take three. Uh, Mike, boom, boom. Okay, and quadro. I felt it was a powerful story, but it was still short and I thought it was easy to produce. And, and so that's when I pitched it and, and I just told them, you know, I have this little script and this little story and I don't know, let's try it out. Let's see how it goes. Let's try and do this uh, all in remote. And action. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Making a film remotely and I was like, hmm, interesting because before Corona nobody thought about it because why would you if you can just do it? Uh, and then I read the script and I just loved the idea because it's kind of sci-fi but very near futuristic. Like I could see this happen in maybe five years. Action. Welcome to Alas. We are happy to have you. Tap. 